Hello there, my name's Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky, and today we're looking at the application Affinity Designer on the iPad. And it works a little bit different to the way it works on the Mac. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to skew and shear objects. And you think when you're doing something like this, you'd get an option on the nodes that are top and bottom and left and right, so that you could do a shear like you can in the Mac application. But you can't, so we have to go to the Transform panel. Let's get into this. So let's pull out the transform panel over here to the right. And you can see those round bits there where you've got position, X and Y. Underneath that you've got rotation. And then we've got shear, and that's what we're going to use. And we're going to also need to set the anchor on it as well. There are nine points on this where you can anchor it. Top, bottom, left and right and in the centre. And we can make it so that it's going to be anchored from the bottom, for instance. And then skew it from side to side across the top. So now I can move the anchor to the top and in the centre and I can move it across and so it shears across from the bottom. So if we move the anchor to the centre and then we do the shearing, it means that the shearing is going to happen across the top and the bottom but the centre will stay in the same place. To get this transformation to work you just put your Apple Pencil in the middle of where it says shear, that circle there, and you can move it up and down. You don't have to stay inside the circle but just keep moving it up if you want the number to get bigger and moving it down if you want the number to get smaller. So now I'm doing the same as before but with the top left hand corner anchored and then the rest of the thing is moving off to the left and right depending on how I set those numbers in the shear circle. You can also set the shear by tapping on this and getting this number panel up and changing the numbers. So I put a zero in there, that's going to bring you back to normal without having any shear on there. So now here we are on the Mac just to show you the difference and I've got some text set up there in the middle. And I can bring up the transform panel here and I can use this here to do some shearing. So bring that there and that does the same as we were doing on the iPad. We can change where it's doing the shearing from. The centre point is going to be there this time and it's going around the centre of the object. So that's the transformer that you've got there with the transform panel there. On the Mac you've got these control handles on the top, bottom, left and right. If you hover the cursor in just the right place you get these skew and shear controls. So we can pull down on a node to make it skew that way. Or we can go to the top here and we can do the shearing where we shear across that way. Go left and right with it. You get a bit more control over what you do with this in the Mac version of the Affinity Designer than you do on the iPad. On this object here I've got some skew and some shear applied to it and also some rotation. And if I put my mouse cursor over the top of this here, when I see that there and double click on it, it removes the shear. And if I double click on the rotation node, it removes the rotation from it and puts it straight again. Quick and easy. Just double click and you've got it done. I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put a like on there as well. Why not?